If we have studied the scripture, then the answer is evident. We should speak with the high priest. I feel the same. However, there are others who must be convinced. Enoch, what is happening there? It is Jesus of Nazareth. Everyone is talking about his teachings and miracles. But I hear he heals people on the Sabbath, and working on our day of rest is against the law. You will have an opportunity to ask him about that yourself, Levi. I have invited Jesus to be a guest in my home for the Sabbath. Nicodemus, come. For a man so many say is a great prophet and teacher, he appears as just any man to me. Friend, will you please lend me a hand? Here, let us help. Thank you. Are you in pain? Teacher, show me. Is it permitted in the law to heal people on the Sabbath day or not? If your son or ox falls into a well, wouldn't you pull him out right away, even on the Sabbath? Slope. Then everyone meet me at the gondolas for your lift tickets. Remember, encourage and help one another today, just as you are already doing. Woohoo! Oh, Aaron, I have downloaded an entire database containing everything there is to know about skiing. I am totally prepared to run full speed down that white ribbon of Gizmo. Giz, retract your skis. Oh, good idea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you downloaded all that info. Did you read it? You're starting on the bunny slope today, Giz. Joy, that was totally Narnar. That ski talk. Stop sounding like a chucklehead. That's joy talk. <laughs> Chris? Yeah? Oh, uh, hi. Ellie, right? Right. <laughs> We have math class. Math class in school. Right. Uh, what are you doing here? Um, <laughs> skiing? Yeah. No, right. I mean, uh, nice to see you here. How long have you been with that church? I'm new. This is my first trip with them. I, uh, I go to their Bible study meetings. Kids are great. Youth Pastor Aaron's pretty cool, too. Do you believe, you know, all the stuff they teach? 
Are you a Christian? Well, yeah. Probably. I guess. <laughs> That's serious commitment. No, I mean, I believe the things in the Bible happened, but I guess... I'm just not sure that's all there is to being a Christian. With most of the kids, it isn't like they just believe. They're changed, you know? That's how I saw it happen with GOA. <laughs> Wait, the hall monitor at school? Yeah, I used to hold that against him too. But he's a really good guy when you get to know him. So, I guess I'm just missing something. I've read some of the Bible. Yeah? There's a lot there I have questions about, but... Let's go, Ellie! The Black Diamond Run is waiting! That's my brother, Carter. Gotta go. Wait, you ski Black Diamond? <sighs> I've had some lessons. My instructor and my brother say, when you're ready, you'll know it. on my skis did cause problems on my first run of the day. Remember, get off at the first stop and wait there for the rest of the group. <laughs> hey, there's Ellie. I ran into her putting on my skis. From our math class, right? Yeah, and can you believe it? She's skiing the black diamond slopes. <laughs> black diamond? Chris, those are for experts only. Ellie said she had some lessons. Some lessons? Yeah, she said... Some lessons? Calm down, Giz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, for Ellie's sake, I will calculate the severity of the Black Diamond Slopes against the number of lessons it would take to be even remotely safe on any of those runs. Why do I get the feeling it's going to be a long day? Uh, Ellie was asking me about the youth group, Joy, and she just said, Do you believe all that stuff they teach? Just like that, she said, Are you a Christian? Yeah. I mean, I believe. At least I think I do. We do, don't we? Maybe we haven't really committed to Jesus. I mean, for GOA and some of the other kids, you hear their stories and it all happened so dramatically. For others, it, it just happened. I know what you mean. <gasps> Superbook! Superbook, wait! We have to stop Ellie! She'll never survive the Black Diamond! <laughs> I am going to show you what it means to be born again. Huh? What's happening? Where are you going? Joy? Gizmo? Oh, man. There seems to be many more visitors for Passover than in recent years. Escaping from your lessons today, young man? What? No, I'm, uh, I was looking for friends. They're missing, and, uh... What is your name? Uh, Chris, and I need to go find my friends. Well, Chris, studying scripture will hold you in much better stead this Passover than running off to play with friends. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. Unjustly condemned, he was led away. 
No one cared that he died without descendants, that his life was cut short in midstream, but he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. Where's Chris? Giz, find out where we are. It appears we have landed on the outskirts of Jerusalem. And my facial recognition scan has verified that he is Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus? Come on! <laughs> now, who among you can explain the prophecy Isaiah has given us in this reading? Yes, young man, tell us what this scripture promises. Me? Uh, no, 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 I, um... Oh, Jesus. Jesus, tell us more. Please, share your wisdom. No, Jesus, they're with my friends. He continues to cause quite a commotion wherever he goes these days. Gotta go! Excuse me, uh, pardon me. <laughs> uh, mind where you're going. Ow. Huh? Uh. Are you all right? I saw my friends. They were that way, with Jesus. You and your friends know Jesus? We sometimes travel with them. I gotta go and catch up with them. Wait, Chris. Ah! <sighs> oh, my. Come, my servant can bandage that. And if your friends are with Jesus, I will help you find them. During Passover, the streets are almost impassable unless you know where you are going. I have friends all over the city and will learn where Jesus is staying. Chris, during your travels with Jesus, did you see him perform miracles? Oh, I've seen plenty. I, uh, I mean, uh, I don't travel with them all the time. Uh, you know, oh, it feels much better. Thanks for the bandage. Today, that scripture from Isaiah spoke of a savior who is to come. What do you think? Could Jesus be the one of whom Isaiah speaks? Well, you know, I didn't know that scripture. Isaiah, yeah, I gotta study that one more. Chris, not all the Jewish leaders stand against Jesus. I am certain my servant will return shortly with news about your friends. Make yourself comfortable. Whew. Superbook, where are you taking me? In Jerusalem during Passover, many people put their faith in Jesus because they saw him work miracles. <laughs> Praise God. But Jesus knew what was in their hearts and would not let them have power over him. I am healed. Oh, praise God. <laughs> no one had to tell him what people were like. He already knew. She is nowhere near ready to handle. Coming through! <laughs> oh. Where you were? Did you miss this? <laughs> you need to stay on the beginner slope a little longer, Giz. Chris? Huh? Nicodemus? You just disappeared from my house the other day. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, about that. Hey, uh, my elbow's great now. And look, I found my friends. Joy, Gizmo, this is Nicodemus. He... I was told Jesus is here. Yes, uh, uh he's upstairs. I'll explain later. Rabbi, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. I tell you the truth. 
Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible? You are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things? I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Ezekiel, then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So, so it, it is, is with, with everyone, everyone born, born of the Spirit. Spirit. What did Jesus mean, Chris? I'm not sure, Gizmo. The wind can't be seen, but you can see what the wind changes, like the movement of those leaves. Maybe Jesus was telling Nicodemus it's the same with everyone born of the Spirit. They will be changed. Oh, we are going home! chance to save Ellie from the Black Diamond Slope. Gizmo, give it up. I'll run a scan to find the expert level runs on the mountain. This is our stop, guys. If Ellie's out there, we will find her. I've got the lead position on Ellie. Look out! <laughs> <sighs> I knew it was going to be one of those days. Joy, and all the trips Superbook's taken us on, and all the time we spent with Jesus, I never really put it all together, you know? I mean, God's plan for salvation is that we can, all of us, everyone, can be changed by His Spirit. And we should... There is a shortcut to the Black Diamond Slope right through here! Gizmo! Come on! Gizmo! Some help. Oh, tie it off to the tree. I am not going near a ski slope ever again. Safe, safe at last. Oh, I love this tree. I love it. I love it. 
help me. Thanks, Ellie. You know, you're a really good skier. A few lessons, huh? I guess it's like my brother says. When it feels like it's time, take a leap of faith and commit. I think I came to that same conclusion about something else today. And there I was, bombing down the Black Diamond Steezy. I tell you, I was tight carving and dodging death cookies on every turn. And then I hit a shoot, heading straight for a okay, super- Okay, Gizmo, we get and it. And for some, it's like it was with Saul. A bolt of lightning strikes and you're there. It's instantaneous. The change in your life is immediate. For others, it can be a slower process, slower with more questioning and careful consideration. But either way, just know that God is always waiting for you with open arms. I want to follow Jesus and become a Christian. Pray with me, Chris. Jesus, you died upon a cross and rose again to save the lost. Jesus, you died upon a cross and rose again to save the lost. Forgive me now of all my sin. Forgive me now of all my sin. Come be my savior, Lord, and friend. Come be my savior, Lord, and friend. Change my life and make it new, and help me, Lord, to live for you. Change my life and make it new, and help me, Lord, to live for you. So you will be saved if you honestly say Jesus is Lord, and if you believe with all your heart that God raised him from death. God will accept you and save you if you truly believe this and tell it to others. Smile.